expert Lorraine Purcell. Welcome back, Lorraine. Hi, Kevin. All right, I, I'm excited about this topic because it's what I call the grand assumption. <laughs> All right, yeah. and I'll explain that here in a minute. We assume as parents that we did our best to raise our kids. We taught them right from wrong. We tell them we instilled in them a sense of ethics, and then we turn them loose out into the world, and we assume that they're ready to go out into the world. Yeah. How far off base am I? Uh, well, the assumption part probably, uh, you know, off base, but uh, <laughs> the way to know is to actually put them in trial runs. Is this working for you? Do you know how to do laundry? Do you know how to manage money? Do you know how to show up to work and stay at work? Okay, all right. Um, uh, how about driving? Are you showing, exhibiting responsibility? Will you be able to handle yourself? And if you notice gaps, don't criticize them. Don't criticize them because Again, it all comes back to us. What mm -hmm. have we not taken the time to really show them and really step through? I, I love that analogy of putting them on a trial run, mm -hmm. okay, uh, before you turn them loose for real. When yeah. do those trial runs start? As, How young? As early as possible. Really? Yeah, you're like making what? dinner tonight. <laughs> okay, all right. You're making dinner tonight. I'm making dinner tonight. And, uh, you know, also, what, what do we need to get from the store? So it's the shopping list, and it's learning to budget the money, and here's, you know, 40 bucks. Can you get the next three meals or whatever? You know, Make so, it a learning Yes, everything is a, is a learning moment. Everything is a learning moment. Okay. Yes. Do they, do you think, uh, if, I would assume that if you made a game of it, yeah. That they'd be more interested, especially if they're younger, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And then, do you think that they get a sense of appreciation as they get older as to what you're trying to do? Well, only when they leave. Only after they're gone. Yeah, they won't that's, <laughs> that's where I wanted to go with that. Mom and Dad, they're going to appreciate you after, after they're gone. After. They're not going to be very happy about it in the present. But you have to know in yourself what are the things I need to teach my child so that they are very prepared for life? So that they're not deer in the headlights when I'm not there with them all the time to do all of this stuff and they're out on their own. You know, have I prepared them to, you know, when the gas tank's on E, you better get some fuel in the tank or you're gonna run out on the side of the road. Yeah. You know, things like this. I can't tell you how many, how many stories I've heard like that from people our age that talk about how their kid just called them up in desperation because they can't figure out how to make something, uh, yeah. follow a recipe or do yeah. the laundry yeah. like yeah. you mentioned like that. It's just the everyday mm -hmm. mundane stuff. And it, the thing that's so beautiful about those things, sorry I didn't mean to cut no, you no, off, no. is that um, it's a bonding experience while you're making dinner together. And I used to haul my son over to the spice cabinet and go, Mark, what spices do you think I should put in? I knew what spices to put in, but I would just pull him in. Mm -hmm. I would just pull him in so that I needed him, I needed his opinion. He was exercising his opinion and our relationship flourished because of it. We're still very close. Okay, so the takeaway this morning, do the trial runs. Yes, when yes, they're very, yes, yes. All the way up through uh -huh. teenage years and they yeah. probably won't appreciate it yeah. until they're out on their own. Yes. All right. Mention to everybody at home uh, watching stopyellingatyourkids.com. What's yeah, that all yeah, about? Yeah, it's a free 50-page ebook filled with uh, permission for you to take care of you while you raise your family well so that you don't burn out, which parents are really on the verge of burning out. Mm -hmm. That's one of my biggest things that I see. Adrenal exhaustion, it's like, come on, get your kids to do for themselves what they can. You take a break. Okay. Johnny, you bring me water. And please. they go to stopyellingatyourkids.com. Yes. There's that free 50 page yes. ebook. Yes, so stop yelling at your kids.com. Yep. Fantastic. And then uh, we, we showed your phone number. Maybe we could show it one more time. Okay. You actually pick up the phone and answer people's <laughs> questions. Of course I do. Well, we don't have it up there, but uh, anyway, oh, go to okay. LorrainePurcell.com <laughs> or stop yelling at your kids.com. Let's do that. All right. Thank you so much, Lorraine. Thanks, Kevin. All right. We'll be right back with more North Dakota Today. <laughs>